My name is Chris Doritas, and when I'm not doing this show, I'm doing a radio show in Los Angeles called Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW. play all sorts of music from all around the world, and one of the most exciting things about doing that show is that every now and then, an artist will come along who turns things upside down. This one created a whole new genre, and then abandoned it in search of something greater. He's not only reinvented the way records are produced, found sounds and palpable textures and new rhythms, but he's also forced us to reconsider what music can be. Please welcome Tricky. Uh, live here now you live in new york yeah yeah I've not been too living, far from here about 20 blocks away <laughs> yeah i've been living here for about 12 months how are you liking it i needed it energy because you know i mean i've kind of done a lot in the last couple of years and i i was kind of being zapped of energy in england i was hanging around with certain kind of people musicians you know what i mean like here i kind of meet loads of different kind of people i'm not just in that circle you know what i mean it was easy to kind of live in my the juice of that, you know what I mean? And here, it's kind of like, you're nobody, you have to kind of fight. I want to make, I still got a lot of learning to do, you know what I mean? I want to make some tunes as strong as like Bob Marley, Kurt Cobain, John Lennon, Jimi Hendrix, you know what I mean? I still got a lot of learning. And um, I was kind of wrestling on my laurels in London, you know? That's cool, that's cool. I was just kind of, yeah. I mean, because when you started out, it was really about wanting to be a, a rapper, an MC, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I got into music, actually, out of survival instincts. I just thought, as a vocalist, I cannot survive. As in, you know, I, I, I never really had anything else. I, my family ain't got money. And I don't want to just get into a thing and then, you know, I was really into rapping. But I thought, I have to be safe. It has to be, it's got to be more than rap. Because it's not going to last long, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I used to think, I'm into the specials, not only rap, but I love the specials, you know? Sort of so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
And what was lucky is I got my deal late. You know what I mean? So by the time I got my record deal, I wasn't just into hip hop anymore. I was into hip hop, you know, Prince, Jimi Hendrix, I kind of grew. So it was lucky I didn't do an album straight away really because it gave me time to grow. So you think if you had gotten a record deal too early, you may not have found what you I found? No, I don't think I would have. I would have just been on, on a rap thing. Yeah. Kind of on one mentality, you know what I mean? Wow. Not saying not no disrespect to rap at all, but I mean, it's like, because I'm black, I don't have to be a rapper, and because I'm white and I'm long hair, I don't have to be rock. And I think the time is over of one album, you know what I mean? Whether it's an hip hop album, a rock album, people are listening to everything. We're all splurging into each other. Yeah. It's kind of a mutant race. You got black kids talking like white kids, you got white kids talking like black kids, black kids with blonde hair. White kids with black hair, you know? It's like we're all of splurged into one. And I think that's the way music's going. It's mutant. Do you know what I mean? It's like a, almost like a new mutant blues. Yeah. And I think the time of one album is just soon to be over. People want to listen to everything, you know?